What else makes you happy? Looking at women. <laughs> Looking at women? Mm, yeah. yeah. I like all of them. All of them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jason, I'm, I'm homeless and I, I do math. Where are you from? Sunny, Ohio. And, and where did we find you today? At the um, ramp in, at the ramp on 45, I think. In Dayton? Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. And Jason, how old are you? 49. 49? How, how, long, uh, how long have you been doing math? Um, um, off and on, but I've been doing it for a year straight. Oh, just one year? Yeah, every day. <laughs> so how long have you been homeless? Um, for about a year. Okay. So um, before homelessness and, you know, meth, what, what was your life like? Um, Did you have a pretty normal childhood? Yeah, pretty, pretty decent, you know, yeah. Yeah, started doing math and everything fell apart. <laughs> fell apart. Yeah. What um, did you go to high school? Yeah, I went to high school. I went to high school in um, West Virginia. Um, from Sydney, and I, I, went, I got in some trouble, and um, and um, I went to West Virginia because my mom told me, well, you, if he don't, don't send him to jail, send him to West Virginia. I went to West Virginia, and from West Virginia, I went to high school, and then from the high school, I went to a job corps, and I took the job corps, and then. They accused me of something, and then after they accused me of something, it wasn't me, I bought the cigarettes, but somebody robbed the cigarette truck. <laughs> and uh, it just happened to leave. It was, it wasn't me this time, you know. It was, I don't, and it was somebody else, and, but they accused me, so I said, I'm leaving, I'm going back to Sydney, and that's it. Um, okay, and did you ever have any family? Like, did you? Yeah, I got my, I got my mom, Joanne, my brother, Jeremiah, and my brother, Matt. And and my br and my my sister my sister Amanda Amanda. Okay. Well, did you ever get married or have kids? No, I never. Even, uh, I don't know if I can, but I, I tried to, but no. Okay. And so, where do you where do you sleep on a day to day basis? Like, let's walk through today. Where when you woke up this morning? What time did you wake up, and where were you? Um. Where, where was I? I was under a bridge. I'm under a bridge. Nearby here? Right here. You, you sleep under this bridge? Okay. Yeah, I, I got a tent, but I just um, make sure it's shadow yeah, every day. Okay. What time do you normally wake up? When the sun comes up? Yeah, it's 6 o'clock. I'm paying on 6 o'clock. And, and you go out to the ramp right away to start? Yeah, you know, I go to McDonald's every I save money back from the ramp to the, from the ramp to the, or my mom, what my mom gives me, or whatever I. Something you run, you don't know what you run into, and I was reaching, and you got jobs and part time. Mm -hmm. I didn't make money yeah. from that and that, and yeah, that's where I'm at, balancing the rent. And, and so, um, how much money do you normally make in a day? Uh, um, not all, just a little bit, maybe about $20, $30. How long does it take you to stand out there to make that much money? Well, forever. Sometimes a long time? Yeah. Do you do it in the winter too? Um, yeah. Yeah. In the winter time, it's harder because it's colder. Yeah. And it's hard to get out there. But I, I have to get out. Sometimes I make more than that, about 30, 40, 50, you know? Yeah. What's the most you ever made in one day? Uh, uh, about 60. $60? Yeah. And out of that, let's say, you know, you make 20 or $30 a day. How much of that do you spend on, you called it ice cream, is that's Christmas? Oh, this, yeah, but maybe $10 and I get, I get, I get 20 for $10, so I get a good deal. So. Do you do meth every day? Yeah, I do. I, I get four lines in one, 20, five lines, so. Well, it's bigger, and for me, it's, I get a whole bunch of lines, about 10, 15 lines, you know. That makes, yeah. Okay.
What are you drawing there? Oh, just, I don't know. Just scribbling? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Do you like, are you, do you like art? Or you yeah, like I, I do like art. I just, you know. Yeah. Keeps my mind occupied because I've got a race of mind, so. You, do you, you have a uh, racing mind naturally, yeah, or do you think it's a na Naturally, just not from the dope, but just. Even without math, with, yeah, your, damn, mind, your yeah. mind races? Yeah. What, what are some other skills that you have besides art? Like, what are you good at? Um, now I'm good at um, drywall and um, insulation and um, stripping. And, um, you yeah, um, know, like fist bicycles. Um, uh, I know how to lay a brick, kind of a little bit. I took the basics when I was younger. Mm. So, you know, and, um, Something by fire. <laughs> Something by fire? Yeah. To make a beer. Good at that. Does that make you happy? Yeah, that makes me happy. Do you have a fire down under the bridge? Too? Yeah. It's all the way under, all the way halfway. It's it's under the bridge, but it's about that distance, you know, so yeah. it's, I got to, you know, I got to pit, I build a fire under. What else, what else, what else makes you happy? What makes you happy? Um, looking at women. <laughs> looking at women? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Do you think that meth makes you um, look at women differently? No. No, not at all. Mm. No. What's the, if you could if you could describe, you know, a perfect woman? What would that be, what would that look like? What would she be like? She would have red hair. Red hair. Yeah. Is she tall or short? Tall. What color are her eyes? Ah. Uh, let me see. That kind of green. Green eyes? Yeah. Is she, do you like skinny girls or do you like kind of thick girls? I like all of them. All of them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't see that wrong. Okay. What else makes you happy? Anything else? Um, I got over riding bicycles and just. I ride bicycles and I go all over the place and. Yeah. yeah I like doing that. Yeah. Um, what about family? Do you still, you mentioned you, 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 your mom helps you out a little bit during the day. Yeah. No, Do you she, still talk to your mom? Yeah, that's, uh, that, I ain't talked to her for a long while, but yeah, because my phone got stolen. But since my phone, yeah, I, 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 I talked to her. So you don't have a phone? Yeah, I got one now. So doing? I would get back in touch with her. Yeah. But I ain't been in touch with her because everybody keeps on stealing my phone. And I have to get a new one on it. I, so... I have to build up money for that and you know, to get that. You know. How do you pay for the cell phone bill? I save up, I save like ten, fifteen dollars a time, you know, and um or my mom or all my family send me some money and it's been sometimes I like, get odd jobs, you know, they stop me, it's like, hey you wanna do this for two days or three days, you know, or one day. And I get a hundred some dollars there or something, you know. One time two hundred, one time you know, two hundred well a hundred well a hundred dollars a a day, so yeah, and I just save up a little bit you know, every, every now and all old places. A couple dollars back and get it up there. Sometimes somebody hand me a 20 though. Sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you know. I have got a hundred dollars of the put one pot, but one t and one person gave you a hundred dollars, yeah, it was like Christmas or somewhere and like that. Oh, wow, only what'd you do with that? Um, I bought food. I went to McDonald's every day. <laughs> McDonald's every day. Yeah, <laughs> um, I bought get, a little bit of dope. Um, I, I buy in the morning, I buy three cinnamon rolls. Mm. And it got cinnamon rolls. I put my own jelly, I put spread jelly on them and sugar. And but they're about that big around. And like, I eat three of them and uh, three of them and a large cup of coffee with eight sugars. <laughs> wow. You like sugar, huh? Yeah. When's the last time you've been to a doctor? Mm. Well, when I went to rehab. When was that? About six months ago. Six months? How, how long did you stay clean? How long did I stay clean? Oh, for 90 days. 90 days? There's a rehab in Tweedle, Ohio. Uh -huh. It's a complex. But I had a lot of people test me. It's just like, damn if I did and damn if I don't. Um, I was high to their book. 
because every dope dealer was asking me for it, and I was sober because he had to take piss tests. He had to go to classes every day for six hours straight, and you can't miss them. And I don't care if you got a job or not. You're gonna have to make time. I had an instruction job, and you have to, you have to make time to. You have to have time to go in there, mm -hmm. and that in the last 90 days program, I made it through that. Did you like being sober? Uh, 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 well, yeah, not kind of, yeah. Yeah. You, did Did you like it more than what you're doing right now? Uh, well, yeah, it could be. Yeah, it, it would be better, you know. What parts were better? Um, parts of the people. Um, because all the um, some of them are crooked. <laughs> no, no. But um, I, I like being sober, but it just. Do you like getting high too, though? Yeah, I like getting both. Yeah. What's the best part about getting high? It makes just... you make you feel good. Did anything make you feel good when you were sober? Oh yeah, I had play. I had laughs and. When I was sober too, and did things, and go out, you know, instead of getting high with a woman, you know, just take her out to dinner and stuff, and not, not really wanting nothing, just take, take her out to dinner, you know. I found out women, some women, and, and you, you just act that way. I said, "Why are you acting that way towards to me?" And I, I didn't, I didn't think I would get a response about um, I'm hungry, mm. and I had money at the time, and so I just bought her a sandwich and. She was happy, mm. so <laughs> so I guess women are grumpy when they. <laughs> I guess everybody grumpy, but you know, especially. And um, she swallowed it. I gave her, and she said, "What What you want for it?" Yeah, I don't want nothing. You know, I just you was hungry, and I had a little bit more extra money, yeah. and I was gonna give you the money, or you you wanted me to go, you want to go with me, so you went with me, and she swallowed it. I mean, you know, but it was cool though, you know. Yeah. So when it comes to finding crystal meth, how, how did you how did you do that the first time? Did someone were you like hanging out with somebody? I just got beat up a whole bunch of times, got ripped off where I got right. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're addicts too. They're addicts and they're addicts control it. <laughs> the, the very first time you tried it, were you like hanging out with somebody that said, "Hey, I've got crystal meth." And you tried it and liked it, or yeah, well, just uh, um, there's certain people. Most people, they just, I don't know how they can read. You read, and this is like when you talk to you, you know what their by their motions and all that kind of stuff. And they just read me, and it's like, hey, and ask you all over town. You want, you want some math? Yeah. It's a lot. There's a lot of it down here. Yeah. Is yeah. it really? Is it hard to find, or is it? And they, they come up and ask me. They come up and ask you if you want it. Yeah. So how far do you have to travel from the ramp and from where you sleep to find crystal meth? Not, not really far, but... Do you I, walk? I used, I, well, I used to find it when I, I lost his number because someone stole my phone. I, he comes comes all over the place, here, whatever. Oh, he would bring it to you? He's a writer. He just, but um, now I just go downtown and everybody, uh, it's like all over. How do you get downtown from here? Um, walk. Uh, well, now I ride it. I forgot to bring my oh, well, bicycle. Yeah, bicycle. Yeah. Are you high right now? Yeah, I kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you could get sober today if you could wave a magic wand and become sober would you do it or what would your life look like if you could wave a magic wand and magically go go to a perfect life what would that life look like um just um apartment a job um i'm gonna get there sooner or later i would have to get there anyways <laughs> but i'm just selling time have fun right now but um, i'm just living normal life just do you know Go places, not without high. I did it before, you know, do things and change people, things, and places. And you have to do that, because if you don't do that, then you're going to change, you change your program. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, someone went through the um, gateway and it didn't. And a lot of dope air, you know, a lot of dope. And, 
and so they were on. And so, um, you had to stay away from people, things, and places, you know. Yeah. And one day at a time, you yeah. have to do that again. And some people, they just, we, we all, we chose to, we, we, we make more than one mistake and we're sober for a long time and then we're back um, getting high because it, it, so that's why we have to stay away from them because they ain't ready to change and if you ain't ready, to, I know me, if I ain't ready to change and they're not ready to change, you, you ain't going to change until you're ready to change. Mm -hmm. And sick and tired, sick and tired, and if you did it again, maybe more, then you get sick and tired and, and start back over again. But you have to stay away from them people because they ain't changing yet. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think, yeah. Jason, thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. You're welcome.